Hello guys, I'm back. In this video, I will teach you how to add and set the case studies on Aspen High Seas. Moreover, I will show you the four types of case studies that you can consider on Aspen High Seas. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and senior engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plan design. When I will use the case study? I will use the case study to study the influence of steady state modification in my process, what happens to the variables that I monitor. The case study you will find at home and case study. So I just need to add a new case and what is the procedure to set a case study? Based on the independent variable that I define, I will verify the results in my dependent variable. So, for instance, let's suppose that I want to verify what is the influence of the inlet temperature in my process. So, I choose feed in and I will look for temperature. I want to range the temperature and verify the results, for instance, in the power consumption of the plant. So I have chosen the temperature and I want to verify what happens in my heat exchanger in terms of duty. So I have the independent variable is the variable that I will define new values and I will get the result in my in my dependent variable because every time that I change the temperature at the inlet I have a result in the in the dirty of my heat exchanger. Once the independent variables and dependent variables are defined we go to case study setup and I have four different ways to for doing the case studies. The standard one is the next step. In this case, I just need to define the start, the end, and the step size or the numbers of steps. So, as I have my current value as 25 Celsius degree, I can define, for instance, 20 as start, 30 as the end, and I want just one step by time. But if I don't want to define the step size and I want to define the number of steps, when I do that, the Aspen High Seas will, based on the numbers of steps, they will define the step size or vice versa. When I do that and I click on run, the calculations was already performed and when I go to the Results, I can see that based on the increase in my temperature in the feed, I decrease the power consumption. So there are two ways to, to see that in a table format, or I can go to plot and verify the results. If I have different variables as dependent and independent variable, I can choose here the variables and verify a new way of choosing the graph. I am able also to do a case study with more than one independent variable. For instance, if I return to variable selection and now I add the feed-in pressure, for instance, I can add that to my verifications. And if I return to the case study, I will define the pressure start at 2, the, uh, finish as 3, and I have the same procedure. So, in this case, I will consider also 10 steps. And based on that, if as I have listed next, nested, in summary, nested is, examines every possible combination of variable changes. So, when I click on run, you can see that as I have 10 steps in temperature, 10 steps in pressure, 
10 multiplied by 10, I have 100 combinations possible using nested. So numbers of states is 100. And if I go to results, I will have 100 cases. And I can verify the plot based on temperature, based on pressure, based on dirty. Dirty is the same. And with that, I can export my results to Excel and prepare them or work on them better to clarify uh, any results that I need to my audience. So another option that I have here is this grid. When I change the case study type, the Aspen High Seas will ask at me if I want to delete the previous results. Let's confirm that. And now I want to define, for instance, three cases or three states. And in, on the script, I can, I can define each one of my cases. So for instance, I want to verify what happens at 26 Celsius degree, 27 and 28 Celsius degree based on the specific pressure. And with that, the Aspen High Seas will evaluate only these three conditions that I have defined for it. So let's run. So I have just three cases. I don't have six cases. I have just three states. When I go to results, I have three states based on the conditions that I informed to Aspen High Seas or to my case study analysis. If I choose the sensitivity, that's clear, the previous. If I use that, what will happen? Aspen High Seas will perform a isolated variable study, study which examine one variable at a time. What that means? So if I start at 20 and end at 30, and I want, for instance, just four steps, I will use the same for my pressure. And I just want four steps. So here I have eight states. Instead of having four versus four, that is 16 cases. That could be the next verification. Here, the Aspen High Seas will get one variable and will change the other one. So let's run. And when I go to results, you can see that Aspen High C set the pressure as 2.5 and have did the variation for the temperature. And it set the temperature and did the variation for the pressure. And with that, we get also the plots. All the results from your case study have the plots or have the results in terms of tabula and also plots. And finally, we have the base and shift. In the base and shift, you will define the basis of your case study, for instance, two. And I will have the base study and the shift study. For instance, for base two, I want to verify 26 Celsius degree and plus two. And the case in the base two, I want to verify 24 and 1. And for my pressure, 2.5 and 0, and 2.6 and 1. So with that, the Aspen High Seas will verify five different conditions. So let's click on run. When I do that, I go to results. So I have here the base study plus my shift. So I have defined two as shift. So in this case, I have the base 26 plus two 28 and verify what happens with the pressure. I have the base study two plus one that is defined here as one, the shift two. So I have 25 and verify the pressure based on my condition, 2.6 plus 1. 
So with this, I have the all the association that is possible based on the base and shift. Which one you will use depends on the objective of your process simulation and the evaluation that you want from your result. So to summarize our video, when you use the case study, you are not changing the results of your process simulation. What you are doing is verifying, is verifying steady state conditions based on the different types of analysis that you, is available to you in this kind of tool. So you will use the case analysis to do the analysis of variations that can happen in your process simulation without changing the values that you have in your current process simulation. So this is it. I hope you like it and I'll see you soon in the next video. Bye bye.